Hey guys, it's Kralis and welcome back everybody to another Minecraft video. Previously, 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 we started this little Minecraft wooden cottage, which we're going to continue in a day or two, so don't you worry about that. If you want to follow the process, make sure you check the Let's Build playlist. And today, back at it again, another vehicle. Today we're going to build, we're going to make a concrete mixer truck. Let me just see here, that's kind of like a little war zone over there, so let's just not build it here. Let's just do it over here. It is designed by Soap on the World of Kerala server, and it goes something like that. Coal is going to be the wheels. We're going to place coal wheels looking like this. One and two. One and two. Jump away four blocks, and on the fourth one, place two more on both sides. From above, it looks like this. And on them, we're going to add some buttons. Buttons, buttons. Buttons, buttons. Buttons, 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 and buttons. Then, from the back, using stone slabs, make one, two, three, and follow this shape through the whole little, like, what do you call it, undercarriage, and extend it by one block out of the front wheels, like that. From above, it looks like this. From this angle, it looks like that. <laughs> and then, take some stone bricks, place one, two, on both sides, one and two. Iron trapdoors, one and two. On this side, the same. One and two. Then here on the front, we're going to be using some... What are you going to call? Slab. It's called a slab out of cobblestone. So place one here and one here. So from above, you should be having a little shape looking like this. We're also going to do iron tractors on the back here. So one, two, and three. One two and three and if we jump up and pause for a second you should be having this shape you can count the blocks now you're done hopefully you're done next we're gonna grab bedrock or black wool if you don't want to use bedrock in this resource pack it looks pretty nice anywho so we're gonna start here in the middle and place one and take this shape all the way out here and extend it on the iron trapdoors we're also gonna delete this trap over here for the moment we're going to take one tractor and place on that. Just like that. Delete this block. Place a lever here. And click it. So now we have a little front grill type of situation going on. And then shift click back an iron tractor on that one. Bam. Bada beam. Also put one bedrock block here. And one on this side. Or black wool. Whatever you prefer. And extend it upwards by one layer. Like this. Then we're going to move to the back here. We're going to start over here. Stone slab and stone slab on the top layer of the bedrock or black wool. Two stone slabs on each side is going to be the wheel arch. Like that. Get some of those stone brick slabs. Place one here, one here, one here, and one here. The next thing we're going to do is place some anvils. And you can place them against the bedrock. Or you can just shift click them to place over the trap door. All up to you on both sides. Like this. Stone slabs, wheel arch on both sides. This and this and that. Dispenser with the hole facing outwards on both sides. Another wheel arch and another one. And then the final thing we're going to do is upside down cobble star stairs. This is going to act as a little like ladder up to the, to the cabin of the truck on both sides. So from the side, you should be having something looking like this. And next, we're going to continue a little cabin. This is going to be very simple. First, I'm going to move to the front here. I'm going to place an item frame on each side. Inside of the item frame, glowstone. And then just some signs behind that. So just some simple, simple, simple light suit solution, okay? I'm going to put a lever here. And one on this side. This is going to act like the side mirror holder thingies. And also, block of course, place one, two. One, two, and three. So it makes a little like U shape or a C from this side. That depends where you're standing. Could be an N as well from this side. Okay. Oh my God, it's going to be really, really, really complex. Then a stone slab here just to cover up the little lever or lever. I don't know. Just place it here and that's going to act as a little seat type of situation. Put a slab here. Extend this upwards by quartz by two, one and two. So from the side, you should be having this shape. And then some glass, uh, stained glass or normal glass, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use the normal ones like this. Cyan paint on this side 
so I am paying on that side. And now also what we could do on the inside here is a little like seating type of situation. So if you go in here and grab a banner, color of choice is up to you, but just place it against this stone slab here. It makes a little high seats. It's very simple, but it looks really nice. Place a sign here and a sign here on the top part here, stone slab, and then some string because we're going to have a little carpet roofing going on here. So just place a string just touching that little uh, banner as you see here. Then carpet. Color of choice is all up to you. We're going to be using not a cap, but a gray carpet. And I'm going to place it something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one in the middle like that. And here on the sides, we could just cover it up with carpet and leave it be. Okay, doesn't matter. But, 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 we're going to have some type of beacons and I'm going to be just using um, redstone repeaters facing like this. So that makes a little beacon situation and we also have a little like back window here. Not that it's needed, but it looks pretty cool. So that is pretty much the cabin done. It's very simple, it's very industrial, but it looks cool. Next part is a little bit tricky because we're going to do the, like the concrete mixer thing and it's going to be a little curvature. So... Um, Hopefully you can follow along as, as good as, as I'm going to explain this. But first, we're going to do those like little exhaust pipes. So put one on this side, three in height, and one on that side, just here above the dispensers on both sides. We're also going to do a little end run situation here, but we're going to do that later on. Otherwise, it's just going to be too bright for the shaders pack or shaders mod. Now, using quartz, start on this block and extend it out by one, two, three, and four. A quartz stair and just one slab for the moment being, okay? So we have four full blocks of quartz, staircase upside down, and a slab. On this wheel arch, place an anvil on this side, and one on this side. Here, quartz slabs on the top part by one, two, three, and four. So you just leave one block gap until you reach the anvil, and the same on this side. One, two, three, and four so from the side you should be having a little shape looking like this next what we're gonna do take full blocks of course and extend it from this side all over the anvil here so it's gonna be one two three four five and six and stop same from this side one two three four five and six on the both ends here we're gonna place an upside down course there like that and the same from this side, bam. So from the side, you should be having a little shape looking like this. And then, no and then, we're gonna continue here. I'm gonna put a quartz slab, oh sorry, full block of quartz first of all, and then on top of that, a quartz slab. One here, two on this side, two on this side, then full blocks of course, one, two, three, four. So it just goes over the little like cool upside down course there here. One, two, three, and four. So now it's starting to become a little like sweet little shape going upwards, like this. Next, we're just gonna make a little roof out of this. So first is first, extend this here upwards and take it out by one, and two in the middle, and you can just delete that now and replace the slab again. So now it just becomes a little roofing thingy. Take, put one here, one on this side, one in the middle, and make a shape just covering up that just in the middle piece here. So from above, you should be really hard to see, but maybe from this angle is better to see, just to envision the little curvature going on here. Also, just here on the bottom part of the staircases, a quartz slab. So now we have a hole into that little concrete mixer type of thing going on. And before we do the little backstage, or backstage, the back piece here, grab a, a cobblestone's walls and place them like this. One here in the middle, which is connected to the slab we just placed. Take it out on both sides. Take it uh, to the back like this. And take them over the iron trapdoors in the back. So from the side, it looks like this. And from the back, you should be having a little shape looking like this, like this, like that. Holy crap, there's a lot of this here. I just dropped a cake and I can't pick it up. Yes, I can. Amazing. Next up is we're going to be using 
some stone brick stairs and some stone brick slabs. We're gonna first of all place one here on the top layer on both uh, court staircases like this on top of that, stone brick stairs like that. Also stone brick slab just on that court slab here, extend it out and take it up all the way to about here. So it's just leveled with those stone brick stairs. And on top of that, another one, bam. So now from the side, it looks like this. From the back it looks like this now we're gonna be using a cauldron i think it's called cauldron right just place it against that so it's just on the full block and then comes the staircase from the scare <laughs> scare case <laughs> staircase an iron trap door and now we're gonna make a little hooper hopper situation going on first we're gonna turn off the rain is it gone it's gone perfect next we're gonna do something like this we're just gonna extend two blocks out like that, just below the cauldron, and then delete this one and place on this, fin, uh, facing this block here, a hooper hopper. So the piping unit or the little connection thing goes backwards like this. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Then using end rods, place one here, upside down facing the stone brick slab and one on this side. So it lights up and it just gives you a little extra little feature detail. Signs, shift click in them into place on the iron trapdoors. One, two, and three. And this is where you can write the registration plate and whatnot. But what I'm going to be using the back lights here. So shift click some item frames on both sides like this. And in them, rest block of redstone or red wool or whatnot. And that makes a little cool backstage area. <laughs> it's not a back, it doesn't matter now. It looks pretty nice, right? Then, also, in the Eye of the Beholder, we're going to do something like this. We're going to extend this upwards by two blocks, delete those, and placing end rods on those blocks like this. This is something you can do. This is something you don't have to do. Looks pretty decent, but it is nothing you have to do. Also, what goes with a concrete uh, mixer type of thing here, you could... You could make this a custom color. So you just have this like, you know how you usually see the concrete mixers. They have like a black and white pattern or white and red or whatnot, like mixed. So when it spins, it looks really cool. Can do that, but this is not going to be spinning. No way, Jose. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is about it. We could also place some buttons on the door as like a door handle thing if that's needed. I don't think so, might, might just look too crowded. We could extend this grill upwards, but I don't think that's needed. Soap, what a beautiful little concrete mixer design. Hopefully you find this easy to follow along. If you have any suggestions for improvements, please do let me know. But what goes for the concrete blender, <laughs> blender, mixer, track, it's pretty much completed. We have it here. And it's going to be in a construction site later on. We're going to do a lot of construction machines in the upcoming episodes. So just stay tuned. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. I'm Kiralis. I'm going to wish you a very, very nice day. And see everybody in the next video. Of something, something. We just don't know. Take care. Bye-bye.